Why do we want to mortgage the future of our children? Because they see the future of us as parents lies where? In our children. Yes. So why do you want to mortgage? The information that I've received, and remember from the, since the day I made, and you've seen in my yes. Facebook, yes. I have received a lot. Even this morning, a parent called me. This morning at 6.50, a parent called me. And he told me, Albert, my child wants to go to Australia. I have seen what you posted. I am thinking twice. That is the conversation I want. Now, are some parents sending their kids to Australia with only the entry fee? Yes. And letting yes, them yes, figure yes, it yes, out. Yes, yes, yes. You have to hustle to make money for the school fees. You have not prepared your children on the kind of work that they are going to work. As a Friday, I got a call from somebody in South Australia. They were one of the rehabilitation centers. There were 45 young Kenyans. Kenyans? Yes, 45. Totally soaked in, in drugs. Our children reach Australia, for instance. They found a new land. They found different culture. They realize that there's no accommodation. So an apartment, a house like this, which has five rooms, five men, one daughter. Okay, and you know what happened. Yes. Okay. A very good morning to you and a warm welcome to LNS Rebuilding Series. My name is Lynn Gugina. I've always said sometimes the purpose of this conversation is to have thoughtful conversations. And when I saw my guest today and how he was pouring his heart out to parents to actually stop sending their young kids abroad before they have an experience, I was honestly like, I watched him, I went through his profiles and I just looked looked at this man and I was like, there's a conversation we need to have as a country. And I was just telling him, I came from hosting someone from Australia and I had a side conversation with her and she was like, Lynn, I wish parents in Kenya knew how bad it is to send your kids abroad if they do not have experience. So should we actually stop sending our young kids there? Should we actually do away with sending them to diaspora so that they can have this experience they can get this expertise but what does that do to their mental health why do we have so many young people struggling outside and what exactly is wrong with our country that a lot of parents feel the need to send their kids out there i'm about to let him introduce himself so that he can help <coughs> us navigate this conversation but before i do that i want to say thank you so much to our official partners of today's conversation tap tap send and i've said if if you are looking into sending money to your loved ones back home, you can be able to use that app. And by using my promo on the screen, you'll get 10% cash back on the figures on your screen. Their app, you can find it pinned on the comment section. And I want to say thank you so much to you guys for being incredible supporters of our work. I always say, Uwezi pika chakula, watu wakikata kukula, unacha tu kupika, you know. But you guys have been incredible supporters of of our work and I appreciate you. And now, without further ado, please allow me to let this thoughtful leader introduce himself. Sir, good morning. Thank you so much, Lynn. How uh, are you? Good morning. I think fellow Kenyans. Yes. Uh, the, the fourth president told us there is something called fellow Kenyans. Fellow Kenyans. So good morning, fellow Kenyans. <laughs> uh, rightfully said, yes. uh, my name is Dr. Albert Koche. Uh, by God's grace, I serve as a board director mm -hmm. of Communication Authority of Kenya, yes. which is the regulator yeah. uh, in within the telecom uh, uh, sector. Mm -hmm. But above all, again, I am a community leader yes. and I'm a leader within this country yeah. because I've had an opportunity to be the fastest counter assembly speaker. Yes. That is 2013 to 2017 in uh, a little known county yes. called El Geo Maracuil County. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm happy because uh, by virtue of being a leader, I have had an opportunity to engage myself with the community activities, mm -hmm. quite a number. You see, uh, the first president of the Republic of Kenya raised uh, the spirit of Arambe. Yes. So Arambe means pulling together. So we do a lot of community activities of pulling resources together. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when, when we do not have effective insurance, then children 
turns out to be the insurance. Oh. And secondly, when we don't have an in, effective insurance system within the country, then people become insurance. That is why when there is a medical issue, we do an Arambe. Mm. You are killing the insurance mm. yourself. When there is a school fees, we do an Arambe. Yes. We are the insurance themselves. Yes. So, but out of that context, they have a much a lot of issues, which I think it necessitated me to be able to come to your show today mm. so that then we can be able to escalate the issue to the people of Kenya yes. within, within <coughs> and outside the Republic of Kenya. Okay. You yes. are a father? Yes, I am a father of three beautiful daughters. Yes. Uh, and again, that gives me more, more resolute mm. within me to be able to speak as a parent, but more importantly, to other parents, my colleague parents, and again to our children, mm. to our children, because you know, you know, we belong, we belong to the society. Yes, we, we are accountable to each other, and this is why even the good book says mm -hmm. the Bible talks about iron definitely shine Sharpens. another iron. All right. Yes. How old is your firstborn? My firstborn is joining from one, so okay. you can do your quick math. Okay. <laughs> So in three years, it he'll is. be five. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, he's, in, he's in, uh, in the next three, four years, and, but we have a program. Yes. We have a program up to university. Mm -hmm. we've, we've agreed, uh, principally, that for all my three children, all the academic will be done in the country. Here? In this country. Until what level? Until they are done with the, with, with the first degree. Mm -hmm. Once they are done with the first degree, well, now we can engage. Depending on the course that we have done, we can engage. But then again, we must have a hot, yeah. candid conversation <coughs> within the living room. I call it the living room conversation. Okay. It has to go back to that. I'm interested in this. Yes. So did you sit them down? Yes, yes, yes we have. We yeah. have engaged. My, my first one is very, very, very clear what she wants to do. We are, we are aware that she's going to go to secondary. We are trusting God for a good grade. We have agreed which university she's going to go. We have actually two. Mm -hmm. So we have said one uh, for purpose of uh, the course that she wants, just in case. The one, so of course, there is the, the usual at the public university. But then again, I'm looking at an option just in case. Yes. Yeah, but so we've agreed principally that, uh, in fact, we've agreed that uh, we do not want to invest a lot in the second school. Because we want to reserve a lot of energy in the university. Okay. Yes. And so once we are done that, then we have the other conversation about furthering the studies. Mm -hmm. How did they take that? Positively. It's an engagement. It's it purely is an engagement. Mm -hmm. It's an engagement that I think, uh, because when you look at the parents that have sort of uh, even sent the children outside the country, most more or less they are our age mate. So that means they have gone to school. Yes. That means they the they elites. That means they, they are religious. They know what going to church is. That means they, even them, I'm very sure, their parents might have sat them down to, prog to plan on mm. the progress of their, of their career. Mm -hmm. and, and therefore, uh, I took upon myself to ensure that I engage my children. So that it's very, very clearly that we are not looking at anything else other than to perform very well within. Let me tell you, by the way, and, and you know, you know, even 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 now our, our current president our current president all his children are studying in kenya mm -hmm. yeah but but do you think the contrary is true because i hosted a young lady and she had just been deported from germany and i remember one of the things she mentioned that stuck in my mind she said she did not she left when she was 15 and she said she, and she's back now she's 24 and she said no one asked her if she wanted to go abroad right no one asked her no one sat with her and asked do you actually want to go abroad do you think there is a conversation we are not having with our children as parents <coughs> what i say goes so because i know what's best quote unquote for my kids if we i decide life is better abroad then life is better abroad do you think parents are not engaging their kids or should we just let it be i am the parent here so i know what's best for okay, my child okay L let me tell you you know uh i am lifting the lead yes I'm lifting the lead of a conversation that perhaps we have shied away or we fear addressing. If you look at majority of the children that are moving out of the country, there, you know, says we have the what you call the society strata. So there are those who are of, of affluent, yes. able, 
but then there is our parents who are now leaving the villages mm -hmm. allow me to address them because those are that is where the problem is okay the problem is we have a situation whereby the society all of a sudden arising from the COVID. because you remember when COVID came countries opened up because of manual skilled labor that's a critical word. We are not talking about this professional course. No, mm. it was this manual, casual, skilled labor. So Canada opened up, quite a number of countries in Europe, but above all, Australia opened up. And because of that, there they were a lot of migrants, both in Kenya, and, and so quite a number of the people went. At that level in time, people were looking for opportunities to go and work. As you continued, they have not, they, they, they arose the situation whereby, because you are not assured of work, then the best thing to use is the visa for education. That lies where the problem is. Because I found out, and I told you that as a community leader, we have been involved in these conversations mm -hmm. at the grassroots level. I found out that majority of our parents do not sit down with their children and ask themselves the why. Lean, there is something called why. There's why. Mm -hmm. Every time you ask yourself why, the reason why you're hosting this show, there must have been a need. Yes. That is that answer, the why. So the question we need to ask, why are we sending children to go and study outside? If you answer why, then the other thing is who should go? So this conversation arising from the fact that parents have lost it. They no longer have a closed door conversation with their children to answer the question, why? So a child goes round, goes for youth camp, goes wherever, gets the uh, former classmates, they have gone to Australia, they have gone to Canada. Quickly, dad and mom, I too, the key word is, I, I too want to go like she go. Or learn to go with like hip, okay? Yes. Tomorrow morning, mom and dad is organizing for fundraising. We have no idea where they are going to live. We have no idea what does the government of Australia, for instance, demand in terms of career. Every country will be looking for the career that is going to earn to make, uh, you know, investment in that country yes. so we are sending people you know project planning anthropology very good courses but does those countries require those courses the why the question then is this you have a child who has cleared form four if this child was born in a place called seche soy in my in my county yes. cleared in capsule girls capsule girls 12 or it international airport mm -hmm. eldorado international airport jki okay. terminal 1a after that melbourne that child has no idea how to live alone that child has no idea how to live with people that child has no idea how to hustle and remember what we are going to do over there you have to hustle to make money for the school fees you have not prepared your children on the kind of work that they are going to work. Let me tell you, for instance, and with respectfully, respectfully, mm -hmm. uh, we are raising children of Netflix. You are raising children full of Netflix. We yes. are raising children of Wi-Fi. We are raising children of phones, okay? TikTok. TikTok. So we, they don't have the shock, the muscles, the skeleton to be able to cope with the challenges of life. It, it is in company of you as a parent, you understand your child lead more than anybody else. Yes. More than anybody you know. If you have five children, three to one, you know this one can cope where, this one can cope there, this, this one cope. Aha! Why don't we have this conversation? Why do we want to mortgage the future of our children? Because they see the future of us as parents lies where? In our children. Yes. So why do you want to mortgage? If a parent can, can follow up, with their son or a daughter who is putting up with somebody in Nairobi. What, what has become of us that we do not, let me tell you, the information that I've received, and remember from the, since the day I made, and you've seen in my yes, Facebook, yes. I have received a lot, even this morning, a parent called me. This morning at 6.50, I 
a parent called me and he told me Albert my child want to go to Australia I have seen what you posted I am thinking twice that is the conversation I want that is the conversation I want that you are not just saying for the sake and we are receiving information whereby children are sent to outside the country you do not know how they are going to land at the airport you do not know who is going to pick your daughter 19 year old daughter you do not know who is going to pick the daughter you do not know where they are going to live you do not know where they are going to eat and you do not know they are going to live with you mm. i mean what has become of us the information again that i'm receiving sad enough is that out of that our children reach australia for instance they found a new land they found different culture they realize that there's no accommodation so an apartment a house like this which has five rooms five men one daughter okay and you know what happened yes. okay we have a situation whereby mtoto wa mtu has no idea how to hustle you've been told you need to go to the garden you need to go to package meat in the butchery you need to go and do some packaging in a supermarket tiktok you have never done anything anything even to do your flowers outside and remember in the evening out of that toiling you must be able to bring food on the table there's no mom there's no dad there's no cousin it's just no you. friend it's you alone okay so break it down for me because you said you have no problem with people going to Australia we are using now Australia mm, as instance, our, yeah, as uh, yeah. uh, for instance yes. uh, you wouldn't have a problem if someone did their degree here and they need to go do their masters in Australia you don't <coughs> have that problem right so for the parents who are watching here is a, here is someone who just completed form 4 now we want to send them outside to go to Australia higher See we are sitting here as a family. Yes. Let's call this person James. Mm, we need mm. now to send James, James to Australia. Australia. Number one, are we dealing with competition here because you mentioned mm. they went and had mm, mm, this and this mm -hmm. person is going to mm -hmm. Australia mm -hmm. then they come and say mm -hmm. mom dad mm -hmm. even me I want, I want to, to go, go to Australia, Australia yes. right? Going to Australia you are not sending them to go work you are sending them to go and study study yes. is it compulsory that if you are going to study you have to work where does the study come Very in good. and the work <coughs> come in the visa that you receive yes. is for study good basically mm -hmm. that's it mm -hmm. in us for instance if you have a you have a, a student visa you are not allowed to work actually they say if you are to work chini ya maji yes. and you have actually have to work within the institution that is us in you in australia for instance because of covid the working hours was open actually by the way 2020 it was open mm. as but as the numbers kept on increasing as cheating continued continued okay and i will uh, qualify for you cheating mm. then the government of australia restricted the number of hours so what that means you can only work for one employer say 24 hours in two weeks mm. in two weeks how much are you making say $300 $300 convert $300 by 150 probably about 45 okay. or something now you so the reason why you went is to study yes but then again in studying there is life to live you don't have money why when we were doing the fundraising we did 1000 1.5 million for school fees only that's how much they charge i mean if you are to go and do that diploma for yes. instance and i'm going to talk about a diploma if you are going to do a diploma for instance a diploma is a two year trimester do you know how much per semester per trimester 1.2 so 1.2 trimester how many semester trimesters do we have per year 3 times 3 3.6 times 2 7.2 my daughter or my son James who has just cleared from 4 who left Tivet who left all the diploma courses here is now in Australia doing a diploma project management 7.2 million 
That's why they say you must have a pen, a paper, and a calculator. Eh. There is something in economics that is called cost benefit analysis. analysis. So this child has therefore to raise 7.2 million in Australia, not in Kenya. What does that mean? You must work, work. extra hard. And this is a 19 year old. I'm telling you. Let me tell you, a friend of mine told me he drives 300 kilometers. 300 kilometers daily. Do you know 300 kilometers? It is actually Eldoret to Nairobi. To do what? To work. So for how many hours? Because it's going to take him like... So he leaves at 3 a.m. Yes. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. to work. That is why I'm saying, do, do we have that information? Do we have? Do we do those candid conversations? Okay? So there is the, the college has already given you a notice that you must be able to pay the school fees in the next three months. And then secondly, if you concentrate in work, your education visa is going to be cancelled and you're going to be deported. Mm. Those things are piling up in the head. Mm. Mm. Secondly, now lies the expectation mm. from the parents. Go and send back. Go hustle and, and send back. Us. Where do I support you? Mom and dad, where do I support you? You have never managed to make 7.2 million in two years. I am your child, 19 years old. I need to make 7.2 million. Now, are some parents sending their kids to Australia with only the entry fee? Yes. And letting yes, them yes, figure yes, it yes, out? Yes, yes, yes. And in fact, out of this conversation, I have uh, quite even yesterday, uh, I got some parents. Mm. The, in fact, there's one parent that really impressed me. Said, you know what? Not only do we send money, we visit. Come on. A parent told me, we visit our child in Australia. They pay for their rent. They pay for the rent. They, and that's a boy. So they pay for his rent. Mm. They put him a car. Okay? And they pay school fees. So what the son does is to concentrate in studies. 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 So are we saying only send your kid there if you have the money? Correct. In fact, the conversation would be up. And that's what I've told people. Anybody who is calling for a fundraising for send the children to Australia, for instance. Let us be very honest and ask yourself the following. Number one, which course is that child going to do? Is that course the one that is in demand in Australia? Let me tell you, my friend, if you do this basic course, this one that we are doing around in this part of the world, mm. <laughs> I am sorry, you just go clear your school, return to sender. Mm. You may want to look at courses like health, you know, those nurses, yes. those are the things that globally, by the way, you know, out of COVID, globally, those are acceptable. Mm. Secondly, who is going to live with your child? Can I tell you, Lynn, and I, I dare ask you, you do your round calls. I want you to ask your parents, how many of them have been calling on their guardians, guardians of their children? Guardians of their children. I have been informed reliably that there are men who are taking advantage of our girls. And that has really impacted negatively on the life of those children. We are informed reliably some of our children, boys, because of hardship. Hardship. They cannot make a life they find themselves doing things that are cultural and African. Mm. As a Friday, I got a call from somebody in South Australia. They were one of the rehabilitation centers. There were 45 young Kenyans. Kenyans? Yes, 45. Totally soaked in, in drugs. Totally soaked in, in drugs. That is a child who was a CEO chair in Kenya. Perhaps he was the best son in the village. Perhaps even we prayed for you when you are going. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. we even laid hands on you, yes. okay? There are children who cannot fathom those kind of work because we never prepare them. And out of that, we are losing our generation in a big way.
They are children, my friend. I'm even scared myself to call them. This, there are about two girls who left the clear phone for. We've never talked to you for the last three months. I can reach them on phone. I don't know what has happened. I, I just fearing the worst mm. could have happened. Mm -hmm. What you do not know is the deportation that has been going on quietly. Oh, there is that too. Yes, because when you don't go to school, and the reason why you went to that place is to go to school, yes. what happened? You get Back it. home. So there is a lot of things that are going on in the villages mm. as we are speaking, <clears throat> but nobody wants to talk about it. So the essence of this conversation is to sensitize our parents on three levels. Number one, don't mortgage your children. Don't mortgage your future because your future is in those children. Don't mortgage. Secondly, I am not refusing anybody to go and study outside the country. We don't have a problem. The, the first they have gone and we have testimonies yes. of what they have done. Yes. But answer the question, why? why? Thirdly, don't send young children. Let's not send the form four who do not have the basic skill. Basic skill. Let me tell you, Lynn, do you know why your parents used to send you to go and study? You don't remember those days you go and do some computer college mm -hmm. courses yes. in some to, 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 to cyber. cyber. You, know, yes. you remember those days? And also uh, driving. You understand? <laughs> to prepare what you call equipping you with sk basic, basic skills. skills. Basic skills. In fact, one of the challenges that we have, and I think you mentioned about uh, bank settlement. Let, let's de deconstruct why you need a bank settlement. When a country say we need 5 million bank settlement and they are not talking about we, they are not talking about book balance they want actual money you know why for sustainability mm. what they are saying if Lynn you are sending your son James for instance to go and study in Canada the government of Canada want to be assured that that child is not going to be a burden mm -hmm. to the country that child is not going to suffer so the fact that you have 5.5 million, that's why they give you a figure. Because they know that amount, you, the child is going to draw from that money for sustainability. What do we do here? We look for a very good settlement. So the government of Australia knows that, or Canada knows that the, there is money in the account. Mm. And the, ch the child goes, what happened? You discover that what is happening in the ground is opposite what you're seeing in the statements. The statements are false. Yes, yeah. and therefore that is why they are working. Okay? So that is why it's very, very important. In fact, the other thing that we are getting again is our parents. And that's why I'm saying, let's be very honest, by the way. When it comes to children's life, we, we cannot afford to job. Mm. And we cannot afford to lie. If you know your child does not know how to drive, why do you want to make the world to believe that he's a driver? Because when you go there, driving is, is a basic, it's a mobility, it's a necessity. So your child, your son James, for instance, does not know how to drive. But he's now where? So that is why I'm saying, when we answer the question, why? We begin preparing ourselves way in advance. We begin sending our children to go and do driving, license, uh, driving in advance. We begin preparing. In fact, one of the things that I'm, I'm told right now is out of this conversation, we will want to recommend, and I've already recommended, that we have a definite pre-departure engagement. Mm. Mm. Somebody to handle the culture shock. Somebody, somebody to handle the courses that are going to be offered. Yes. Somebody to answer the accommodation and the hassle. Somebody to answer the school fees. That conversation should be able to answer the question why. Oh yeah, it should answer why. Mm. Because you will be able to know, ah, oh, so I am not just going to do an extension of what I've been doing. Business management. Let me tell you, my friend. Yeah. I did business, so I have no bad feeling about business. <laughs> yes. But do not need sit outside there. Mm. And by the way, let me tell you, don't assume that those Wazungus have not studied. They have gone to school. That is why they cannot allow us to sit in offices, okay? Because they want us to do the manual job, this, this. The basic. The basic jobs. Eh? So, that, and, but then some of our children do not actually know. The basics. The basics. 
do not know they do not know they actually think they and, and because majority of us as parents and respectively and before let me just qualify every parent's desire is their children will prosper the desire of every parent is their children to be able to grow the, pro, the desire of a parent the children will be able to become a blessing to them yes. at their sunset age the children will be able to be blessed mm. that is why we are struggling right left center but in struggling let's get it right our children are now suffering massively there is an increase in depression you must have seen in the social media yes. depression is real 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 people are depressed and they are depressed because one societal expectation mm. what you call the pressure yes the pressure. People at home expecting me to graduate in two years. I am not graduating. You know, you know, you know, lead you must have seen around here in Kenya. You've seen those fellows who who, who wear gowns, mm. but they are not in the graduation list. <laughs> you must have seen those fellows. The fellows who and take their, go for the photo uh, shoot. Correct, yes. correct. And and you know, they're like a oh, mom, dad, you know. You know, even my dean told me that uh, there was a print together. You know. You know, there was a pretty girl. Yeah. But mama, I can assure you. We graduated. You can see. Yes. You know? You can make it up here. You know you can fake it until uh, you make it here. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yes. But you can't fake it there. It will because the regulation is very clear. You mm. came here for two years. We want you to graduate. Okay? Pressure. Depression. Secondly, I cannot make it. I cannot make In the hustling, I cannot make it. We cannot make it for rent. Uh, in fact, I'm told in a house like this, a room is going for 85,000. 85,000? A room? Like here? Per month. That answers why. Do you remember I said yes. why? Yes. Let's answer the question yes. why. And let's find out. Let's just, let's just find out. Let's find out exactly what does it take for my child to, to, survive. to survive in that place. So we have 85,000 per month rent in fact somebody has given me a tabulation of monthly 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 so upkeep is upkeep is in the range of other you have done rent then yes. there's fuel yes and then you know when you get the car there is there is a monthly fee that you pay to the government the a whole issue of owning a car just a whole issue okay so in in per month maybe that child spends about hundred thousand upkeep plus rent 85 that's how much 185 185 three months if you are doing diploma is waiting for you 1.2 oh my god okay and there's over 500,000 here in rent and upkeep trust me you our beautiful good meaning parents have no idea so which leaves me this question are the parents doing it for themselves or for the children? The, it's 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 two way. There is there is the pressure from the child, and those are the parents that they have no control over their children. Mm. Not their parents that they have no control over their children. Oh, I will give it to the you. Parents are like, mm, yes, yeah, it's mommy, okay. you've always been doing it for me. I mean, even this one, and it's my life, by the way, mom. You know, it's my life. If I want to go, if I want to go, I want to go. Yeah. All that I want you to do, <laughs> pay for me one twenty-five. I've talked to my friends. I'm going. Those are the ones who are suffering today. Mom and dad. Okay, I'm not asking a lot. Pay for me one forty-five. I go. Those are the ones who are suffering. A lot. But a good meaning parent will say, "My daughter, my son. This is the available resource. In fact, somebody called me yesterday. Tell our parents not to dispose of." all their piece of land for one child yesterday because we must be do what you call cost benefit analysis, analysis. Let, let's and, and even for for those of us who are elderly siblings let, let's we lead come on you're in Nairobi reach out to your siblings mm. let's not leave again this issue to the parents alone yes. some of our parents again <coughs> might not be able to comprehend mm. let's reach out let it be a societal conversation a societal conversation so that then those those parents who might not be knowledgeable i want to ask you child who want to go help your parents to understand 
Unlimited. Do you know it's the prestige actually? It is. Come on, we are human on the African. It's the prestige for the your child ego. to be. Come on, my daughter is in Ireland. Oh my God. I mean, you are the sheriff in town. Yes. <laughs> Even when you go to child, you are the you will be given the front seat. Yes. Come on, you are child in the yes. Scotland, man. Yes. Scotland, you know. Yes. So we put the guys who are in India aside. This is Scotland. You know, it's 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 normal. The like, you guys it, come okay. sit behind. It's okay. Yeah. Like like those days, you you know, you studied you know University of Nairobi yes. from the seat. Yes. The the rest they follow you. Yes. Yeah. Now. University you understand. Of Nairobi is you understand. Yes. So, I know there is the bride. Mm. There is that bride of I want my child like the one for lean when even my, I don't have a problem. At whose cost? At whose cost? At whose cost? Lean might have a jackpot. I don't have. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Lean might be calling for fundraising, thinking that she. Doesn't you have? But you'll be shocked. Mm. I'm a Japanga. Mm. Let's not compete without planning. Yes. Let us plan. Let us ensure that we get all the facts. Right now, internet. And let me tell you, I have done a lot of research. Yeah. The government of Australia mm -hmm. is going to by May next year. And that's why I, this message must go to the parents. Please. Before you begin planning for children to go to Australia or whichever country, get the information right. Some of these countries are restricting the courses that these children are going to study. Mm. We do not want a situation whereby we are sending our child. Imagine you are sending your child for three years and they are back home. In fact, one of the ladies in Australia told me, can you imagine, Albert, we are spending 10 million to this government. And after 10 million is spent, you come back home. Painful. Yes. Painful. Because we never <coughs> we never got it right in terms of the courses that the Australia mm. are looking for. So it is very important get into the internet. Right now, there is some, some pieces of regulation in the laws that are being worked on. Yeah. To the effect that if you are above 35 years, and you can get it, I will send it to you. If you are above 35 years, Therefore, and you have done none co. You know those courses that that are not needed. Yes, yes. You know, anthropology. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> anthropology. You understand? <laughs> you know, respectively. Of course, that's what you they are being done anyway. Respectfully. Yeah, respectfully. <laughs> respectfully. Respectfully. Then, that five years, you clear home. Do our parents know that? No. no. As long as my child is in no. Australia. 35, in fact, let me shock you. When I was told this thing, I'm like, are those Wazungu serious? So, you consider that five year old and are elderly. <laughs> That's what they're saying. They, they, they are not fibran. They cannot produce. That's yeah. what those guys, yes. They are liability. 35. 35. Home. Kwenyu. Where? In this part of the world, Kaidi Kango Bada Kanandika 35 Neka Youth. Yes. Okay? Yes. Secondly, if you are below 35, it is said postgraduate. How many years? Two. Two. Depression that were going on in the, our children in Australia was because of that. Mm. It is a piece of legislation, legislation that has come up. Children do not know. They were taught when you learned last week and they actually be told. Your courses are not yes. useful here. Yes. And therefore I said, may I be the voice of the voiceless? Yes. May I make reasons in our living room? And I'm very happy, Lynn. Mm. Today, I got a clip this morning. A discussion is going on in Korea. Good. Students of Korea from that clip. A discussion is going on in South, Afri South Australia. It is what we are talking about, the conversation. Mm. And I want to believe that using your YouTube uh, yes. space, we are going to magnify this sensitization mm. so that then we don't make it right and save our generation. Good. I cannot mortgage the life of my the future of my child in the name of looking for a better education and I lose it all. Mm. The other thing is, is the role of the community. It is very important that the community should equally, you know, we have in every community they have opinion leader. Yes. Let's have a very candid conversation. Let's help some of these parents. Some of our parents again, respectively, some of our parents uh, lean might not have gone to school. 
we all come from mm. villages mm. they may not have gone to school but by god's grace their children have gone to school yes. so a bit like enlightened so when a child comes and like that mom i want to go what do we expect of their parents please so what do we want can we organize for fundraising mm. yes but then we need somebody within those communities to be engaging their parents on a side yes. just a side conversation Mze, eh, what what do you think have you done a eh, blah 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 so that then we don't lose children one one way mm. in fact what i want to ask you lean i want you to do a research and ask yourself how many children have been calling back home and giving feedback in fact one of the girls told me that you know because of the frustration that i've gone through i choose what to tell my parents yeah so that their parents Come think on. they are having it did you hear what i'm saying yes. i choose what to report to my parents do you know what she told me mm. i don't want to break their hearts oh and she told me i just just want to don't mention their name koche i have gone through hell and she told me you can define what hell mm. that a girl can go through mm. and i don't want my parents to know because in fact one of them told me my mother has pressure my father has pressure if i tell them what i'm going through here I will lose both of them. Mm. And you are their hope. Correct. They That's what that girl told me and yes. I quote, "Koche, I have gone through hell. I landed into a man who will share the room for the first 3 4 days our son was spending in the bed. This man was spending in the sitting room. After 5 6 7 days, you know what yes. what happened? I am aware of an issue without quoting the name of a girl who was raped in in that part of the world nobody has mentioned it mom and dad i'm good my children i know are studying are studying you have not and that is why i'm asking us that is the conversation that we want to do if your child is to travel please <coughs> get to know who they are going to live with mm. there is a parent who called me and he's tell i have seen what you've said can i tell you i thank god i did the right thing what did you do i bought my child a car yes ah uh-huh, very good i pay school fees eh huh? at least for one year by yes. the way i'm saying at least for one year you know if you can do lean ka one year ka one year to pay care they can be able to stabilize yes And then Akasema not only that I speak with the guardian the critical conversation that I want speaking with, with the, the guardian. guardian Do you know what some of our children you do not know who they are living with mm. They do not know who they are living with mm. I speak with the guardian In fact she tells me I do video call both were there in the room that is responsible parenting, parenting. And, and and out of that In fact she tells me that the guardian reaches a level that like, okay it's okay I uh, I can I can, mm. don't say anything for now I think we can be able to make it mm-hmm. A gentleman who lives in that place call me he is a community leader within a, a, an association in, in Australia told me that Albert imafika kiwango I even fear I'm going to pick our Kenyans at the airport because I don't know where I'm going to put them and I'm, if, if if you want to call that fellow i can i'm mm. willing to talk to him i took you to he says that when at it, when i see now people at jkia i ask myself what end are up because we are not prepared so do you know what has happened lin a few of us are pushing children and allowing fate to decide fate in a foreign country if you cannot allow fate in kenya how dare you want to allow faith to take place in foreign country this is a conversation i've had if you can look at uh, in fact i was just looking at the uh, feedback i've seen somebody from finland finland this morning like finland is not to go finland things are thick somebody is telling me again in canada things are thick why because we have not prepared our children mm. to cope with the lives outside there and that is why we are asking our parents please don't succumb to societal pressure of unhealthy competition i think bahati usang kila mtoto akizaliwa na sahani yake 
But, but let's address the elephant in the room, though. For many parents to feel comfortable sending their kids yes. to study abroad, yes. Yes. what's Kenya lacking? I, I think uh, maybe opportunities. Maybe opportunities. Absolutely. Of course, definitely. It's, no, no, come on. The elephant in the room yes. is an employment. Yes. Yeah. That is why the reason why we are going outside is not basically actually to study. It's but to, to make, get a to, job to, to after the study. Job, which I understand very well. But then I, I'm asking you, of what benefit does it give to you to send a child to mm. go and do a diploma? Mm. Diploma. Do you know my diploma is costing in this country? It costs less than 500,000. Let us allow our children to do Diploma in Kenya, if you want to do the diploma, develop what you call the basic skills. Basic skills. Basic skills. Let them grow. You know, by the time you are clearing college, say you cleared, you cleared class 8 from 4 at around 17. So, college is how many years? 2. Sure. So, that is about 17, maybe mm. 21, mm. 22. Maybe about 23, 22. And of course, you evaluate, everybody evaluate their child. Yes. You know, this one can cope. Mm. You know, at the end of her auntie, she comes back, blah, 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 blah. Then you can be able to know, oh, so this child can actually be able to go. Okay? And, and the other thing that I've been told is that we are losing on boys. In fact, most of those fellows who are equally suffering are the boys. Nobody follows them. They are strong. They are strong. Pambana, Baba. Pambana. What they are doing is only God who knows. Because things are thick. There is a, so in fact, what the other thing that I've been told, which I need to ask your parent, is to manage their expectation. Let's not pile a lot of pressure on them. Let's allow them to study. Let's allow them to do a saving. Let's let them to, to, to do a bit of saving. To do a bit of saving. Let's give them a head start of five years. Correct. Let's give them a head start of five mm. years. Yeah, just about of five five mm. years. Let them let them you know let them even you know enjoy themselves for oh, about rich. a couple of years. Eh? Mm. And and of course they will be throwing in a bill Here and this there. Christmas, Kadola. Yes. You know, they will always be a kambuzi. Ka, so ka ten thousand buzi. Yeah. We'll always find their way. So this is where black tax comes in now. <clears throat> yes. We are actually enslaving our kids. Yes. They become now our bank. Correct. They actually, they are. Our bank. They are. They are. Why? Because I have seen Kwa Musheru, Kwa Jacob. You see that new building? You see that, that new building over there? Mudota yako ndiyako. Yes. You are not asking yourself. We have daughter Alienda Yeah. This is a child who has been in there for 10 years. Yeah. Asha Malesa Shule, maybe even they, they are no longer new even the manual job. Maybe probably they are now looking mm. almost in an, in an office setup. That's why it is very important we can be able to get it right. Yes. So this thing of building pressure, we want you to pay us, we want to send money. And that is what, by the way, this is what is driving our children into depression. depression because of the expectation mm. way back at home. at home. But let's talk about the role of the government here because... Australia, there is a Kenyan yes. embassy yes. right there, yes. right? Yes. Shouldn't they do this beforehand? Shouldn't it they is. have studied the country so that they can sensitize and create awareness so that they can also put a limit to... I know it's, a, it's freedom. You can take your child anywhere at any time. But what role is the government playing towards sensitizing this? I can, uh, this is what I would say, and thank you for raising that. Mm. There are both three reason levels that the government should intervene. Number yes. one, and I want to ask, and I've, I think I've reached out to the PSS, the relevant PSS, let us engage and have a candid conversation with the traveling agents. There is a lot of insincerity in that. They are making money. Yes. They are making business. Yes. At the expense of, our of children. the children of Kenya. If there could not be any agent, these children will not be going. So I'm asking the government to read on the travel agents who are making money but not disclosing the realities for the children. Yeah. When a travel agent says that accommodation will be provided, what do they mean? What do they mean? When a travel agent tells a parent, and that is where now, this is now where I, I, I go to the side of the parents. When a travel agent says that, oh, you know you only need 1.5 million. Come on. What do you mean? Because you are not disclosing. So an innocent parent actually understand to go to Canada, you need we need 1.5 million. So a child who has been in Givishoi 
has no idea what the city of Ottawa, Florida is, will be able to fly knowing that 1.5 vitu kwa ground is the 40. So the first thing that the government, and I want to propose, I am proposing, that we have a candid conversation by the Ministry of Labor, yes. NEA, yes. National Development Authority, yes. Where this uh, commission of higher education, Good. let us have, and the foreign affairs. And the foreign affairs. We must be able to ask the hard questions to the travel agents for our children. Mm. Why do you make business on the future of our children? Why do you want to lie that you are giving information that is not complete? Because children and parents make decisions based on the information they are provided. But when they travel there, things are bad. That is one thing that I want. Mm. Secondly, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And I want to address the ambassador of Australia. My good friend, the immediate former member of parliament of Chesumei, it's called Dr. Gogo. Mm. He has to go back to Australia and in fact, and I quote a gentleman called Osea mm. in Australia. Yes. This is what he told me, and I want to address it. This is what he told me. Ask the ambassador of Kenya. Once he come there, he leave the office and go to the ground. That's what he said. Go to the ground. Go to the ground. And that's why I'm asking the ambassador. Leave the comfort of your office. Go to the ground. What I'm raising here, perhaps should have been addressed by the ambassador. Yes, I think so. Should have been addressed by the ambassador. I think so. I want the ambassador of Australia to give us a profile. What is going on? They should be the one to advise His Excellency the President in the cabinet on the state of affairs of our children in abroad. The ambassador of Canada, phew, the ambassador of US, then you ask the government what could be the role of the government. How can the government come in to rescue these children? Yes. If we are risking people who are being raided by banditry. And if we are going to Haiti. If we are going to, why not why rescue not them? You understand? So I want to ask the ambassador who is going to, who is ambassador of Australia, go to the ground. I have talked to the gentleman, go talk to the gentleman called Osea. Osea is saying, come to the ground. Come and meet us. Go to the rehab. Go to the rehabilitation centers. Look at the way the chill, our children are stressed. Look at the loneliness in our children. Look at the depression in our children. Look at the suicide that is happening in our children. Look at the mental health issue that is happening in children. Give us data and offer solution. Engage the government. Yes. Some of these ambassadors are not talking to Kenyans. Have you ever heard anyone who is on the TV telling Kenyans, blah, blah. We want to say advisory. You know, you know what to call advisory. Yes. Give advisory. Mm. Say that we have discovered, huh? Now it looks like Australia are restricting a bit. Mm. Help Kenyans so that they don't begin involving themselves looking for money, yet there is no future. Yes. Because let me tell you, if you go to study and you cannot be able to, you know, you, you study for you to recoup. You know, it's good recouping. For you to recoup the cost, even, even here in Kenya, sometimes it will take about 20 years. Yes. Yeah, to recoup. Yes. If yes. you have done masters, you know, it sometimes it takes even 15 or 10 years. What about 7 million? What about 10 million? Hey. Okay? Yes. I want to see our ambassador reaching out and addressing Kenya so this. Mm. The last thing that I want to ask the government mm. is the Minister of Foreign Affairs. I know His Excellency the President has done tremendously well in terms of ensuring that we export labor. Labor. So labor, you remember, yes. now, nowadays you remember they have streamlined mm, in Arabia. Mm. Listen, nowadays I'm very sure even you did your show. Yes. Rarely do you have we those, because stories. the government has raided yes. that space. Mm. We, the same strength, raid in schools. This now, this uh, education, mm. edu education tours. Let us now streamline that so that Kenyans can be able to enjoy the fruits of their labor. Yes. But above all, I believe Tivets need to do a bit of marketing. Mm. Tivets need to do a lot of marketing. Yeah. If Tivets can be able to showcase some of the diploma courses they are doing, maybe some of our children could not be admired. Also. And this is, I, I always have that concern even with our institutions. Yes. They don't even, 
it's they don't they put out. themselves out there they are not reaching out it's like yeah we are, they are not reaching so, out you they know, are not reaching out they should do this they are not reaching out there's so much that we can there's do so here much let me tell country. you let me tell you my you friend the, the previous government and the current government are tivet centered governments and globally tivet is where the future is because this is where we develop skills yes because you know the funny thing uh, there are shows I'm doing. Yes. I love agriculture. Yes. So I'm trying to curate yes. content around yes. agriculture. Yes. Yes. And I was just going through the analytics and the majority of people who are watching are also young people yes. from around 24 to that you know we are youth About 30. in Kenya 35 yes, yes, we are yes, still yes, the yes, youths yes, are yes, watching yes, yes. and consuming and the comment section they don't even know these things and I'm like why as a country are we not putting what we can <coughs> offer out there why wouldn't the institutions <coughs> honestly even showcase what they are doing out there let me use a proverb yeah. an, African proverb. <laughs> an, African, an African proverb says that. yes you cannot wink when the lights are off. True. <laughs> you cannot because, wink because when nobody the will know. Off, nobody will know you are winking. You understand? <laughs> I want to ask Tibet. You are winking when the lights but are off. But nobody knows what you what you are doing. Mm. Switch on your lights. Engage corporate yes. affairs, communication. Yeah. Sell, sell your courses. Speak. Go to citizen in the morning. Come to lean the uh, yeah. program. Go market the courses that you're offering. Make Give noise about Kenyans what you're offering. Give Kenyans alternative. Yeah. Give Kenyans alternative. The reason why our children want to fly outside is because perhaps they do not know what you're offering. You only have say Kabete, RVTI, whatever Nakuru. Maybe they are there. But have you marketed? Let me tell you a good example. Yeah. When we grew up, me and you. Yes. We used to know that there is a, an institute called Rift Valley Technical Institute yes. in Akuru. Daily. Daily. You know, those courses that mm, did. Mm, and I think Kabete. Yes. I think there was something about Kabete. Yes. Veterinary. You know, those kind of things. Yeah. What happened? So, the principles of those schools must be able to go an extra mile to be able to demonstrate to Kenyans what they can be able to offer. We're in the digital era right Correct. now. Please Correct. Use it. Correct. Use it. So that then, because let me tell you, because right now all the children are going to secondary. You know all the children are yes. going to secondary. Yes. So no, even the one with 50, 50 months attend the secondary. Then, you've now seen, His Excellency the President has said, NYS, 80% of the guys who are going to join CD, uh, military yes, and police yeah. are going to NIS. So NYS are now being profiled. Now, now you are going to NYS with, with with a very clear that ha, there is something that is good. What happened to Tibets? Tibets should be able to come out and help. Some of these courses that our children are doing outside the country. Uh, guess what? And even much better. And the market here. Yes. We are not, uh, and you know, we are not looking. Let, let me tell you, lead. I am looking for an opportunity whereby. You can be able to produce ten other lean doing what you're doing. Yes, that's exactly. Yes. Do you have to go outside to study that? No, no. no. Right no. here. Right here. Right here. You just need to get a bit of mentorship. You need to just get the right course yes. and mentorship, and that brings the other issue. Let us ask. Let me bleed with our professionals. Let's have a mentorship. Lean. I am an accountant. Because of one person. And I'll tell you who. Mm. When I grew up, my late uncle, and may he so rest in eternal peace, he used to, I used to go and see him. And there is a certain stature. There's, there's, there's a certain stature, walking style, posture, talking, that made me. Mm -mm. Whatever this man is doing, God, am I not growing? Mm -hmm. If the answer is yes, yes. I'm going to be like him. Those days, honor and respect was not to the political class. It was on the professionals. You remember that days you were yes. in the village? Yes. When the manager of KFC could come home, he was the sheriff in town. Professionals. A lecturer could come home, sheriff in town. Yes. Today you go for a baraza, a professor sits on the fifth row, 
fifth row and you know who sits in the front yes. you know them yes. those who sit in the front yes. are those who sit in the front yes you understand <laughs> i ask myself i think i like the way this man is doing and he began walking the journey with me 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 do you know what happened my sister it reached a level whereby I even admire the suit. And I said, when I become a grown up, I will do a suit like this. Yes. And I I knew he was in Strathmore. I went to Strathmore because of him. I did my CP in Strathmore because of him. I'm today a, an accountant because, because of, him. of him. I have a suit like the one he had because, because of, of him. him. Mentorship. Mentorship. Powerful. Mentorship. Powerful. We must and I mm. can tell you I have gone out of my way <clears throat> to mentor as many people as possible. Mm. Let's just raise a generation yeah, of full hope. of hope. Full of hope. Let us not allow our children to struggle to make hands meet yet we have gone ahead. Let us mentor. Whoever you are hosting here should be inspired. I normally tell people let's not motivate, let us inspire. When you inspire it goes beyond motivation. Yes. Motivation is just feeling bubbling. Even but motivation with no skill set, no inspiration. Correct. It's so nothing. we must be able to inspire. When we inspire and uh, and, and and prepare these children, mentor these children, you luckily discovered yeah. most of them are running out, not because it was their choice. They have nowhere to run to. Nobody's yeah. talking to them. We are there for in a Christmas season. Can I ask you all of our yes, professional please. as you go to the village, please have a candid conversation with our children. Help them to understand that yes, we desire to go and study outside the country. Mm. But please, let's answer the answer the question. Why? why? Beautiful, powerful. I love that you've decided to be on the show. They talk about a pathfinder, yes. a pace setter, uh -huh. someone who has decided let's have this conversation. Yes. Yeah. And I'm loving the feedback. I was just on your Facebook today in the morning. Yes. And I just want to read something I saw here yes. from one. By the way, when he says I've had, guys, you need to check Mr. Albert Koche's yes. uh, social uh, handles, including his Twitter. Yes. You are getting this feedback from people like, I want to read when he says he's receiving this feedback. Yes. It's the truth. One of the comments that was left on a video that you mm. did says, well hit doctor, the issue is so grave and needs serious attention. Early in the year, there was a hue and cry over the number of young students being brought back for burial from Canada. Mm -hmm. Reason for death, depression, drug abuse, homelessness, and destitution. Why? Shock on arrival. No jobs, no social support structures, etc. The conversation is going. Yeah. I was, I have been in trips in London and I've had shows in London. And one of the key things that even stuck with older people is lean. There's no social life here. Things are so hard. So if someone in their 40s, in their 50s is talking about how hard living in mm -hmm. diaspora mm -hmm. can be, mm -hmm. why do we expect a 19-year-old mm -hmm. to, to go and conquer? We shouldn't. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. And we I want to applaud you for being the pace setter. Mm. We are saying we are mm. opening yes, the yes, lead. Yes, yes. What are we saying? Lifting the lead. We are lifting the we are lead. Lifting the lead. You are lifting for the conversation. For the conversation. And you can see, actually, yes. the lead has been lifted. The lead has already been lifted. That is why lifted. everybody is saying, yeah. yes. yes. That is where the conversation should be. Good. Let's and I'm driving this conversation to mm. the living room yes. where decisions are made. made. Sit with. That's why I loved when I you made. said... Sit with your Sit children. Conversation. Share with them your vision. Let them tell you what they feel about your vision. You know, it breaks my heart. Mm. I, at 19, I was so confused. Oh, yeah. Life is so confusing. But you are now at 19, Sydney. I was thinking about boyfriends and, 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 and now, all these things. And now, then now when you're thinking about boyfriend and so forth, <laughs> hey, you land in, in Melbourne. Melbourne. I land in Melbourne. And you get this guy yes. who then be like, okay, you know, yeah, I'm going to accommodate the you. Shoe. I, I'm you, going to ensure that I take care of you. You are not going to suffer. God sent you to me. Oh, yeah. You are so beautiful. And you know, your country is very far. Yeah. And the worst thing is even turn that boy to be your tribesman. Yes. So you are like, Nimefika. Mom, I am safe. Good. You will be making those calls the yes. first one week. Good. You see? After that, 
death sentence. Death, death sentence. Death and I was, uh, places like Australia, Canada, they are good. Language, English, mm. speak mm. all you want. Mm. We are sending our mm. kids to places mm. where mm. like Germ mm. you have to know mm. the language. You have to, you have language. to speak the Japanese, mm. the German, the mm. Korean, all mm. these things. Mm. Now imagine that culture mm. shock. Mm. And you could not even cram. Mm. You could not find eggs in your own home. Yeah. And you expected mm. to learn a whole mm. new language. Mm. Thank you for this conversation. Mm. I want to wind up, but yes. before I do, would is there anything you wanted to add that you feel like you could I add on? I want to submit yes. my final submission. We are accountable before God. Yeah. How we are raising our children. We might not be accountable on management of assets. Mm. But on your DNA, you are accountable. Yeah. Secondly, parents do not fear to address your fears. I am convinced their parents who are supporting their children to go with one foot. The other one they are not sure. Let's address. The gut feeling. The gut feeling. Trust it. They say, mm. Don't deal with your fears. They will deal with you yes. at the appropriate time. The last thing, let's pray for our children. God gave us. Mm. I believe the desire of God is that children will be prosperous, but let us take responsibility. Let us not send for the sake. Let's be strategic. And I want to ask as we go for Christmas, this is my final statement. Yeah. Mom, dad, mom or dad, siblings who have come for Christmas, let in that conversation that you're doing among catch up, catch up, catch up. If you're young siblings, mm -hmm. have a discussion in the house. Yes. When the manager agrees to be, or man the staff, have a sit down. Let us help. When we go to church, let us help the young people. When you go to the, in fact, I have asked the MCAs, the governors, and the senators, and the MPs, let us drive mm. the conversation mm. and help our young people. Otherwise, I want to say thank you so much for this opportunity. Yes. Uh, it is an opportunity that has been able to go to open a door mm -hmm. for many people. Mm -hmm. My desire is that if our children can be able to learn, well, I know they will. I know they will. I know the parents have learned something. I know the children have learned something. Sure. And this is how we move forward sure. as a nation sure. by having this meaningful conversation. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For keeping Thank time you. Thank you so and much. for being awesome Thank you. Thank you. and for Thank just you. accepting Thank you. the invite. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, guys, back at home. Huh? The lead has been opened. So what's your role in it? What's your why as a parent? What's your why as a parent? Let's answer that. Do we really need to send them out there? Should we wait a little? Should we actually give our children time to be children? I love that we are having these meaningful conversations. I love that we are d delving deeper into how we parent and the why and the why. Mm -hmm. That for me is my take home. Thank you so much for watching where can people find you on your socials albert uh, albert koche yes that is my facebook mm. handle yes and then albert koche again yeah uh in uh, in the twitter on twitter yes. all right so his social handles are right here on the screen guys engage him further some of the conversations that he has even posted on the comment section on his inbox he's have he's helping us get the data and i hope all the key players who have been mentioned here mm. Mm. the parents, the children, the government, the ministries, the embassies, all these places, we are able to actually come together mm. and see what's our way forward. I appreciate you for watching. Let me know on the comment section what your take home is. As you go for Christmas, please sit your kids and ask them, how is life really? Do you even want to go and study outside or should we start with the basics? Unataka kusoma computer? It won't make you less of a parent. We all did these things. We went for computer. We was missing Jafanya driving. So <laughs> maybe my mom is still waiting for me to finish on that basic but 
but the basics help they do something to your mind mm. it's not the computer it's what it does to your child knowing there is a cast skill here there is a cast skill here so even when they go abroad the culture shock is not so bad mm. on them and thank you so much to our official partners of today's conversation tap tap send if you are looking for a reliable app to be able to send money back home why don't you try them get 10% cash back by using the figures on the screen on your first time guys don't be sending money 10 times and then say lena i did not get it it's on the first time basis the app is pinned on the comment section and also as i mentioned my guest social handles are here on the screen if you want to continue with this conversation reach out to him a huge thank you to my team edgar behind the scenes and of course mary for editing this and making sure it reaches you guys right on time wanna reach me info at lnn.digital that's where i am and i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow at 10am god bless ask yourself what's the why bye bye